We're the only two left, so I'm just gonna be. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. They had left. What? What you say? They had left. They only have an 18. No, I'm not. All right, it's gonna have to do. I know. Yeah, the push down, Peter. push down, Peter. push down. Hey, push to your left, push to your left, push to your left. At the tip of Simon Dozen's to the right, they're right there. Hey, slow down, yeah, slow down, you're almost out of hand. One, two, I sustained a gunshot. One, two, three. All right, Sabre Junction 23 is the incorporation of 2nd Cavalry Regiment with a Polish higher command uh, that happens to be the 11th Armored Division uh, over here from Poland and components of their uh, units underneath them uh, is what comprises the division staff. So the interoperability piece is what we're trying to get after. How does a Polish headquarters uh, command and control a U.S. Cavalry Regiment with other multinational partners uh, within that regiment as well. 2CR is America's forward uh, recon element located in Europe. And so if anything was to um, be activated in a deterrence kind of standpoint, then we would look at 2CR to provide that recon asset along with uh, other units we rotate through Europe for uh, the Rapid Action Force. So exercises like Saber Junction allow us to uh, provide that environment where a U.S. Cavalry Regiment and a Polish division can have the decision space and understanding between each other and how that division would answer to a multinational corps uh, to meet the needs and provide those trained and ready units to, de to defend Europe. 